everyone, my name is Jacob. So I've been in school before, believe it or not, and I have stories about that, believe it or not. So a couple weeks ago, I did a video about my experiences with driving, and um, a lot of y'all liked it, so I decided that I would kind of make a series out of it and do my experience of dot dot dot. So today, if you haven't noticed already, by the title and the intro and what I'm about to say right now, my experiences with school. That didn't make any sense. I'm talking about my experience with the school. That's what I was trying to say. So in this video, I'm going to be going through my middle school years, my elementary school years, and my preschool years. Oh, maybe not a lot of preschool because I don't remember it. I remember like one or two things that I'm maybe talking about. So just sit back and relax and think about how stupid I am and you can make fun of me throughout my school years. Let's begin. So as I'm thinking about school, I'm remembering how school is a terrifying place. It is terrifying. There are alarms happening every month and you don't know if you're about to actually burn to death or if you just got to go outside and stand out there for a while. I don't remember them ever telling us, hey, there's a fire drill. You're going, you're not going to die. You need to just act like you're going to die. It was terrifying. Then they also did those uh, practices for tornadoes and Th that was the most uncomfortable situation I have ever been in in my entire life. Actually, you know what? I think the time that I'm talking about, it wasn't a practice. I think there actually was a tornado. But l let's just keep on talking about it. Anyways, so I just remember we I was in maybe third or fourth grade. We were going out of the classroom and they they line us up against a wall. <laughs> this is like this is like some serious stuff. Well, they line us up against the wall. Then we have to crouch down and like, like crouch down and hold our legs and pull our head like this. And no joke, we were there. I, two hour, one or two hours. It was the longest time. I was like, tornadoes are supposed to be pr pretty quick. And this, and there wasn't a tornado. It was like a, I think there was one, like maybe a couple miles away from us. They never came near us. And so we were just sitting there like this and it was so uncomfortable. We were like crouched down. There was like kindergartners were crying because they're like, you're going to die. Put your head like this. And there wasn't even a tornado coming. The, the also, the thing that I remembered is that they put me under this. I was like all by myself under this huge, like glass window. And um, it wasn't a window, it wasn't outside. It was just like, I think it was looking into like the library or something. And I was like, if, I was so worried. I was like, if a tornado comes, I'm gonna get cut by the class. I think they use, basically use me as a sacrifice because they're like, we don't have enough space on this wall anymore um, for this, this kid that we actually like. Let's get that kid right there and put him underneath that window. Here, you just switch out. We don't care about you, you go over there. That was basically my life. Another thing that we did was where you hide in the closets because an intruder is in the building. Now there wasn't actually an intruder. We just, we practiced that. Maybe there was. Huh. Was there an intruder in our, in our building? In kindergarten? What if they just told us, it, what if all this time they told us that it was a practice? I don't remember, I was only in kindergarten, but what I do remember is that they make you hide in the closet and you turn off the lights. Now I'm like, how is this gonna help? Like, we need to have a better plan, guys. Like, you just hide in the closet? It's not like the people don't know that we're in there. Like, every school does this. It's make, we make, it makes us a lot easier targets. And I just remember that we turn off the lights in the closets, so we're in pitch black dark, and this kid has light up shoes and they're lighting it up. And the teacher's like, stop it. Stop lighting up your shoes. It's supposed to be dark in here. And I'm like, what? It, if there was an intruder to open up the door, they're like, oh, it's too dark in here. <laughs> let me, let me go away. I'm scared of the dark. I don't, I don't understand. They, we need to have a, if they haven't changed those plans since then, we, we need better plans. Speaking of hiding under things, I remember in my fifth grade year, we came into the classroom, we're all talking, the teacher's not there, we're like, what's happening? Like, where's the teacher? This teacher was crazy, by the way, she was awesome. Um, so we were like, where's the teacher? What's happening? And we're just sitting there just talking and stuff. And then she comes out from underneath her desk. No joke. That's what, she was underneath the desk and she walks out and we're just like, we're just like talking, we're like, what? are you doing? And she was like, I just wanted to see what would happen if, um, if I wasn't here. 
I mean, it's a good teacher move. She was crazy and funny, so it was really funny too, but I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, just set up like a hidden camera or something. You don't have to hide underneath the desk. So I was a really, really big introvert. I, I'm, I still am a really big introvert. So I remember, I, I didn't have a lot of friends. Um, I, I do remember one friend that I had um, that, fits into the story so we would go into in my like second grade year I think we would go into the auditorium and we'd sit down every single morning and I remember one time this girl had um like just crazy hair it wasn't like purposeful I think like it looked like she just like the tornado just came through and messed up her hair and so I remember going to one of my I must have been really mean I don't think I was because I didn't talk to anyone. So I think this was the one time that I was really mean. But I remember going to my friend and being like, hey, look at her hair. Somehow she heard me. That did not end out uh, end up well at all. So apparently she goes, and I don't know this girl from anyone. Like I said, I don't talk to anyone. So apparently she goes and tells the principal. And remember, I'm in like first grade, second grade, I think. Yeah, pro probably one of those two. She goes and tells the principal. And the principal comes over to me and she's like, boy, did you just go and like make fun of her hair. And I was like, oh shoot, how did this even happen? Like I whispered it to my friend and I was like, "Think of, you, you gotta think of a lie really quick. Like what? what's the best lie? And my lie was, I was saying that it, how good it looked. That's what I, I'm sure the principal believed me a hundred percent. My little first grade mind, I was like, uh, I was saying that it looked good. And the teacher's like, that checks out, bye. Obviously I have more um, stories about school and I might do a part two, but this video was getting kind of long. Tell me your stories about school in the comments below. And maybe if I do a part two, I might um, talk about your stories as well. Not as my own, <laughs> not like taking yours and being like, that's what happened to me. Tell me your stories in the comments below if you have any really good ones and I might share those in my next video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and share with your friends who have been in school, are going to be in school, or are in school right now. So that should be almost everyone. I mean, you school doesn't have to be a building that you go to. School can be anything where you're learning stuff and you've learned something in your life. So that's everyone, share it with everyone. That's basically what I'm saying. Uh, this is a, um, a selfish plug actually. I was gonna say, I was gonna say like an unselfish plug, but it's pretty selfish. Um, also be sure to subscribe and click that bell button. Um, <laughs> If you, I can't get over the fact that I just called myself selfish. Like I was saying, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and click that bell button because um, YouTube does not notify you whenever your subscriptions come out. They barely ever put their videos in your sub feed. And also follow me on Twitter because I tweet out my videos there so that you can know. Um, so yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.